When I was growing up, homosexuality was synonymous with the word abomination and hell. Katy Perry speaks candidly about being raised in a sheltered past and credits therapy with positively influencing her life for the better. Today's episode of Newsfeed is brought to you by Pandora Premium, where you can search and play your favorite songs. Pandora sounds like you. The world was shook when Katy Perry sang about kissing a girl, but you better believe that wasn't something she could talk about while growing up. In one of her most raw, unfiltered interviews to date, Katy Perry dishes to Vogue magazine talking what it was like to be raised in a sheltered Christian household during those tumultuous pre I Kiss a Girl years. The catchy track dropped back in 2008 and marked Katy's first debut single. She revealed that her exploration of her own sexuality wasn't always as freeing as the song suggests. Katie described growing up in a quote, bubble beyond the bubble as the daughter of pastures filled with like-minded people saying that she wasn't allowed to interact with gay people. She also recalled picketing Madonna and Marilyn Manson concerts with her parents, handing out pamphlets titled How to Find God, but then revealed when she actually watched her first Marilyn Manson live performance, she quote, just got it. Aside from sharing her story in Vogue, Katie also delivered a powerful speech during last month's Human Rights Campaign Gala, talking about breaking the mold she was tightly form-fitted into, talking about her first single, and how it wasn't just a catchy pop song, but a liberating call for awareness and conversation, saying, quote, I speak my truths and I paint my fantasies into these little bite-sized pop songs. For instance, I kissed a girl and I liked it. Truth be told, I did more than that. Katie also mentioned that in her household, homosexuality was synonymous with the words abomination and hell, but then recalled the eye-opening time in her life when all of that changed. And my gift introduced me to people outside my bubble, and my bubble started to burst. They were the most free, strong, kind, and inclusive people I have ever met. Katie also opened up to Vogue about living in a different type of bubble as being a constant celebrity figure in the public eye, which she says is not always all it's cracked up to be. Katie credits therapy for putting a positive impact on her life, saying, quote, when I am in the room, I am just Katherine Hudson, which is amazing because people in my position hear yes too much and it kills them or makes them completely disconnected from reality. And I don't want that. Well, I've got to give mad props to Katie for sharing such a pivotal and eye-opening part of her life and I personally love what she stands for, but I do want to hear from all of you and what you thought about Katie's speech and her interview with Vogue. So hit us up in the comments below. As always, subscribe to our channel. I'm Ryland Adams, thanks for watching. And click to the left to see what Harry Styles had to say about Taylor Swift. And thanks again to Pandora for sponsoring this episode. Now with Pandora Premium, where personalized radio meets on-demand listening, it's the only music app you'll ever need.